So let us bring in Harman Dillon here. Uh, Harman, uh, NDTV partnered with Dove for the Stop the Beauty test last year and that is when we talked about you know the unfair uh, unidimensional stereotypical beauty test that women have to go through as part of the marriage process. But for this year's campaign, how did you choose, why did you choose to rewind the clock in a sense to focus on adolescent girls and their body anxiety issues? At Dove, we believe that beauty should be a source of confidence and not anxiety for women. Which is why last year we started the movement which is Stop the Beauty Test. It was a campaign which brought to life the prejudices which women faced, especially during the marriage process and the kind of dent in the confidence that they have during that process. And when we were looking at the statistics and results, we realized that this confidence gap really starts happening much, much earlier and actually during the teenage years. Statistics really told us that 80% of young girls in this country have faced a beauty bias or a prejudice during their teenage years. And that's why we decided that we really need to widen the scope of our messaging and address the problem when it starts, which is during their adolescent years. So what kind of response have you received to the Stop the Beauty Test campaign this time around? The response, I must say, has been really humbling for the entire team who's worked on this campaign. Uh, I think uh, this year's campaign, because it brings to light the prejudices and biases which young girls face, has really touched a chord with women far and wide. We've got lots of responses where women have shared, when did they first face this bias? Why the hashtag, how old were you? And how it has ended up denting their confidence and taken years for them to overcome it. We've reached close to 100 million people with this message and we believe that when women are sharing their stories of how it has really uh, dented their confidence and what it really took to really overcome that gap, it is only going to help raise more awareness about this issue and really make sure that we stop the beauty bias when it starts so early. Tell us about the Dove self-esteem project. How has it progressed in the last year since we last spoke about it? So the Dove Self-Esteem Program is a long-standing partnership that we have with UNICEF across the world. We have a commitment to reach 80 lakh young adults in this country by 2025 with body positivity curriculum. And I'm happy to share that till now we have reached 10 lakh young lives and imparted this training in classrooms with trained personnel. The response has been overwhelming because some of the schools that we have given this training is are very keen to really make this a part of the regular curriculum and we believe that will be the step in the right direction. Wow. 